Well, welcome back to MikoBulldogs.tv. As we get ready for the boys game, we got the Miko Bulldogs against the Ampo Panthers, the rivalry game. The girls came up short on their side. And so now we're excited to get going on the boys' side. The Miko Bulldogs are two and four uh, this year. They won their first two games, have lost their last four games. So I think they're excited to try to get this going. And so starters here for the uh, Bulldogs. Number two, Brady Harris. Number five, Reed McMurtry. Number 11, Kate Anthony. Number 13, Jason Martinez. And number 23, Carson Littlejohn. So a little bit of shakeup with the starting lineup. So once again, the Bulldogs are two and four on uh, the record. They've lost four in a row. Now the, for the Ampo Panthers. Uh, the Ampo Panthers are four and five on the year. And so they also don't have a winning record. So number three, Prater. Number three, number 11. I didn't get their lineups, didn't have time. And number 12, I'll see if I can get those here in a moment. And so number 24, I believe Cole Jones. And so we'll get going with this game. I'll see if I can get a lineup for them for you real quick. I sent a runner for me, so we'll see if she can accomplish the the uh, the goal, the task. Well, hopefully we'll get a better game, better start here by these Bulldogs. Like I said, they've lost the last four. And so I know they're hungry for a win. So hopefully we're healthy and can get back after it, get back going. I know Coach Hill's ready to do it. And so here we go. We'll get the jump ball and get it going. All right, got some names for you now. I'll be able to jump in with this, all right? So Bulldogs win it. Over to Harris, over to Martinez, down to Little John. Looks like a man-to-man -man defense from the Panthers. Kane Anthony in the lane. He's going to shoot it. It's going to be a little off to the right. Panthers rebound. And so it looks like a man-to-man -man poked away there. It's going to go out of bounds. It'll go to the Bulldogs. So Harris is going to bring it up. Martinez to Anthony, back to Martinez, looking for the lane. He's got a little bit of a lane, and he makes a little scoop and score for Martinez. A little, little bit of pressure here, full court from the Bulldogs. There's McMurtry getting after it. Got it over to the corner. He's open for the three, misses it. That was number five, Ian Guthrie, and then number three picks it up, puts it in. That was Lawson Braden. McMurtry, Anthony goes baseline. McMurtry gets in the lane, pops it out to Harris. And boom! A Bulldog money ball from Brady Harris. Coming out shooting well. Oh, Harris almost got his hand on it. Oh, and then he fouled him coming back. So that's the first team foul, first foul on Mr. Brady Harris. Can't get it past the half court line, finally does. Little John tried to stab at it. A little pump fake there, dropped off down low. 
kicked it back out. There's a three-point shot. That's going to be short. And Little John tried to save it. Couldn't save it. So Lawson Brayton, Ian Guthrie, Avery McComas, Briar Anglin, and Kale Jones out there for the Panthers. Anthony tried to get a little still there. Trying to be aggressive here. I like to see this being a little more aggressive on defense. I think that's the calling card. And that's what's going to happen right there. You're going to cause a turnover. And that's kind of back to the old Bulldog defense that we're used to. I thought we kind of missed that in the Bulldog Classic. I don't know if it's because we were sick or what, but just didn't have that intensity. But the Bulldogs, a little intensity to start the evening. Back to McMurtry. He's going to dribble it in. Anthony's going to take it to the lane. Little left hand missed. A little strong. Little John down for it. Can't come up with it. And the Panthers will push it forward. Nice job cutting it off, Little John. There's a three pointer. Missed it. That was number 11, Avery McComas. Martinez puts on the brakes in the lane. He's going to pop it back out to Anthony. Fakes the three. He wants to go, but not happening. Martinez says, I'll take the three. And yes, sir, from downtown. Jason Martinez with the three. Full court pressure here. Eight to two. That's the way to start the game. Harris, be a little careful. He's already got one. McMurtry gets his hands on it, but can't come up with it. Poked it away. McMurtry comes up with it. He's going to come down the court. Uses the right hand on the left side. Just misses. Martinez there to clean it up. No. It won't go in. Four minutes, 15 seconds. Good job of defense here. Nothing happening as they are suffocating these Panthers right now. Not letting anything easy happen. They're keeping everything outside right now. Ooh, he almost got his hands on it. There's a long three, and he makes it. That's number five, Ian Guthrie. So he's able to hit one from downtown. Bulldogs come back down, see what they can make happen. Oh, and he drugged that back foot. So it looks like zero, Ashton Taylor going to come in. Number 12, Caden Brown. Number 21, Aiden Brummel is going to come in. Little John McMurtry are going to have a seat, as well as Martinez. Full court pressure here. So they get it down the court. There's a little back cut. Taylor tried to cut it off. And a layup, that's number five, Guthrie. Got a one point ball game. Three minutes left on this first quarter. Cross court pass to Caden Brown. He'll take the three. Misses it a little strong. Brummel comes flying in, gets it. Gets it to Taylor. Drops it to Anthony. He'll make a strong man move. Oh, and just a little strong. A little too strong of a strong man move. There's the trap, got out of it to the corner. He dropped it down low. Anthony popped it out. Two minutes, 32 seconds. The Bulldogs punched first. Panthers are punching back. Oh, he throws it down. Brown's going to run it down. Nobody was there, and he makes the easy layup. Maybe not so easy sometimes, but he put it in. Not sure what the Panthers were doing there, but we'll take it. Good sh shutdown right there by Brown. 
Made him kick it back out. Fouled. It's going to get the points. Got to keep that drive from getting down into the lane. So Kate Anthony's going to get the foul. I believe that's his first. So Landon McMahon's going to come in. And Reed McMurtry as well. Hare stays in. Taylor stays in. Brown stays in. So Coach Hill going to rotate them through here tonight, it looks like. Two minutes, 11 seconds. Missed the free throw. McMurtry comes up with it. Pushes it up to McMahon, up to Harris. He'll take it from the corner. And he drops it. Brady Harris. As they get it down the court quickly, and he pays it off. Out of bounds on the Panthers. That'll go to the Bulldogs. One minute, 57 seconds. A couple more subs come in. McMahon will head out. Anthony back in. Nicely done by McMahon. Played a little bit defense. Got an assist and has a seat. Up to McMurtry. Bromo's going to get into the lane. He moved that back foot. So they get it in. We dropped it, but somehow the Panthers come up with it. Got to the lane. That's what you can't have. Rebound by Taylor. They shut it down there in the lane, made it tough. McMurtry will push it up. He'll take the jump shot off the glass. Doesn't fall. We'll go back down the court with a minute 22. Anthony steals it. He's going to push this fast break up. They've got numbers. And he rolls it in. 15 to 9. One minute, five seconds. The defense, strong defense tonight by the Bulldogs. Good switch there. So a lot of switching going on for the Bulldogs. Reed McMurtry tries to get it. Oh, he's going to end up with a foul. Tried to get his hand on that one. <laughs> foul on McMurtry. That's his first foul, third team foul. And then a whole host of Bulldogs come in, some Panthers as well. So it looks like it's McMahon, Little John, Martinez, Brummel, and Brown out there for the Bulldogs. So Coach Hill not played around, getting all sorts of guys in here in this first quarter. 39 seconds. A lot of dribbling there. Nothing happening. And this pressure has stayed on as they kind of run this trap. Send it up top, 16 seconds. Oh, he got stuck out there. He picked up his dribble. Got it down. Little John couldn't quite get it. Brummel working hard. Five seconds. He falls down. It's going to be a travel because he slid. 3.7 seconds left here in this first quarter. McBan's going to take it out. Got it up to Brummel. One second. He'll take a pretty good looking shot. Ooh! And off the front of the rim. Good look at that with three seconds left, able to get that shot up. And so the Bulldogs will take a 15 to nine lead going into the second quarter. Well, I think the story of that first quarter is Coach Hill is gonna get a lot of guys, a lot of opportunities because he's gonna play a lot of pressure defense. In your face defense is what I would call Coach Hill's calling card. And I like that he's getting back to it. And so the Bulldogs with a lot of defense, a lot of turnovers, and it turned in some points as they're going to take a six-point lead. It was kind of a, a quarter of runs there. The Bulldogs had the first run. The Panthers had the second run there. And the Bulldogs finished up with the last run to pull out the lead. 
And so at the moment, Bulldogs take the lead here as we head into this second quarter. So I think offensively continue to move that ball around. I like seeing them get it inside, outside, things like that, getting some layups. They've been able to, when they move the ball around and they're moving quickly, they're finding some lanes. I'd like to see that. They're finding some passing lanes, finding some driving lanes. That'll pay off defensively. Pressure, 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 pressure. I think keep that up. Wear these Ampo Panthers out, I believe, is what you're going to try to do. And so we'll see if Ampo can handle the pressure. If they can kind of regroup here, the Bulldogs can keep it going. So Martinez, Harris, Little John, McMurtry, and Anthony in. They're going to trap again out here up top. Cross course pass. A little shot, and he gets a nice little roll. This is where we want to move the ball around. Good after it there. Good pass by Little John. Martinez misses the easy shot there. Oh, Jason Martinez, come on, brother. Little John took the charge a little too soon, but fouled after the rebound. That's on number 23, or 24. That's the first for him. That's Cale Jones. Anthony fouled as he puts the shot up, and he'll get two free throws. Got him to up in the air, and he got into him as he got up in the air. So that foul was on number 12, Briar Anglin. So he misses the first one. So I haven't seen Briar Reynolds. I think he's sick tonight. So that's allowing a few others. Anthony gets that one. Push this lead back to five. Once again, pressure, pressure from these Bulldogs. Nowhere to go. He's stuck. Finally finds it up top. There's a tough jump shot. Makes it over Harris. That was number five, Ian Guthrie. Tough shot right there. 16-13. This is a good game which you would think in a rival. There's Anthony from the free throw line. He takes it with confidence. Oh, he dribbles it off his foot, throws it to Mercury. He's going to try to get a layup in, and he does. Nicely done there by the Bulldogs. Good job, Little John, trying to shut down where they want to go. They're having to work for every dribble. There's a three-point shot, missed. Second chance for the Panthers, missed. Anthony gets the rebound, pushes it up. McMurtry is open, but he takes it by himself. He misses. McMurtry gets the rebound. It's going to be tied up. Thought maybe he needed to make an easy pass there. Anthony had a chance to get it to McMurtry. Didn't happen. And so now Ashton Taylor, Aiden Brummel, Landon McMahon going to come in for the Bulldogs with Anthony Harris. So now we got five out there. I think everybody got a little tense. If you've been watching them, you would know why. Got it down to Anthony. He'll take the left hand. Long, long shot for that. And so they'll push right back down. Harris set up. Ooh, nice little jumper, and Guthrie's putting it in. He's been their main scorer, 20 to 15. Taylor almost lost it, got it to Brummel. He'll take the three. And in rhythm, yes, sir, Aiden Brummel from downtown. 
Five minutes left here in the half. Good job by Brady Harris. Ready to have that charge. They had to pull up. Oh, and he dribbled it off his foot. Taylor comes up with it, gets it to Anthony. He's going to push it forward. Fancy dribbling there. McMahon will take it. And yes! A Bulldog money ball from Landon McMahon. And the Panthers call a timeout. 26 to 15. And the Bulldogs pushing the lead out to 11. Woo! Full time out here. Well, Ampo, Ian Guthrie scored a lot of points. That's the one you're going to have to watch. He's the one that seems to be scoring. But the pressure is causing havoc. And so Coach Hill has decided that he's going to be using quite a few guys so he can continue the pressure going and so that they can be running all over the place, try to keep them fresh. And I love it because, to me, that's Bulldog defense, what I've been – used to the last few years is watching this kind of defense where it's just in your face, in the passing lane, on the on ball pressure, those kind of things. And so that's what they've been able to do. And it's been working out. And the Bulldogs are knocking down some threes. Not just one guy, but three or four guys have knocked them down. And so McMurtry, McMahon, Taylor, Brummel, Anthony out here for the Bulldogs. With an 11-point lead, four minutes, 30 seconds left here in this first half. Oh, he let him down the court. Got to keep the out of bounds. Oh, he throws it off the rim and misses it. Brummel comes up with it. Called out Wolf, but he didn't hear it. And Ampo almost had a comedy of errors there. And they get it across the half line. And there's a missed three. Taylor fights for it, gets it. Pushes it up to McMurtry, and he's going to put the brakes on. Kick it back to McMahon. He'll take the three again. Misses it short. Good rebound by Taylor, and he puts it in. Let him down the out-of-bounds line again. Going to have to shut that down. There's a free throw jumper. Missed. Taylor, another rebound to Anthony, and they're going to hurry up. And I like when they're this aggressive on every point. There's Brummel for three. He's got one, and he's got another. Stop, pop, and drop. 31 to 15. This lead is extended quickly. Three minutes and 11 seconds. There we go. Shut down that out-of-bounds line. That's what you want. Ten seconds. Couldn't get it across the half-court line, and this ball pressure is suffocating. So now we've got Caden Brown, McMurtry, Anthony, Harris, and Little John out here for the Bulldogs. Three minutes left. Over to McMurtry, he'll take a three. He'll try his, his opportunity, misses everything. Panthers come up with it. Over to the corner, they're gonna try to move the ball around. They're trying to funnel them to their defenders. And he's gonna be fouled from behind. That foul's on McMurtry, that's his second foul. Just the fourth team foul. That's kind of impressive, to be honest. With two minutes and 40 seconds left in this uh, first half, as aggressive as they played on defense to just have four team fouls, you're playing some good defense there. So he misses the first one. Martinez is going to come in for McMurtry with those two fouls. He 
He makes the second one. So two minutes, 35 seconds. 31-16 lead here, up by 15. Anthony trying to get it down to Martinez. He misses it, but somehow pokes it over to Little John. Little John puts it up, misses. And there's the foul from Martinez. That'll be team foul number five. And that'll be Jason Martinez's first foul. Shut it down. Got him trapped in the corner. Gets the pass off. Boy, the Bulldogs are right there as soon as the ball's caught. Tried to take the charge. Doesn't work. Able to get the bucket in. 31-18. We're under two minutes. Reset here. Getting a little action here, a little ball screen. He's trying that back door cut. Got a little bit of an open lane. He's going to put it up. Misses a tough shot. Little John tried to go get the rebound. It was a little too aggressive, and so that'll be team foul number six. So the next one will be a bonus. It'll be a one and one. So that'll be Carson Little John's first foul. Cross-court pass there. Over to the three-point line. Got him trapped in the corner. He throws it out to the top of the key. And there's somebody there quickly with a minute 20. Mr. Guthrie's liked that shot, but he misses that one. Anthony rebounds, and he pushes it up the court. Avoids the charge. Misses it. Martinez gets it. Harris will take the three from the top of the key. Missed it. Rebound Panthers. One minute left. There's a three-pointer and knocks it down. It's number 11, Avery McComas. 21-31, the Panthers come back just a little bit here. Went from a 16-point lead. Oh, Caden Brown goes down the middle, puts it in, and fouled. Give him an attaboy on that one as he drives the lane and finishes. And he gets a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play here. Number 12, Caden Brown. Puts it up, puts it in. Nicely done, nicely done, Mr. Brown. Good looking shot there as he drove the lane, impressive. There, he is stuck in the corner. Brown comes up with the steal, throws it up to Little John. And he can't grab it, knocked out by Anpo. He tried to one-hand that thing. So Panthers will sub in here. 26 seconds left. Back down to Anthony. Going to be fouled from behind. That's number 12, uh, Briar Anglin. That's his second one, just 13 foul. Knocked out of bounds again by the Panthers. 23 seconds. Martinez gets it in, bounced it off his foot. So sticking with this full court pressure. Got him stopped. Able to get it past the half court line. Shut down the three, nine seconds. They extended the defense. He's gonna find that jumper. He's been knocking it down and he does. And that'll be the end of the half. The Miko Bulldogs 34, 
The Ampo Panthers, 23. And if you're a Minko Bulldog fan, I think you're pretty excited about how that half went. A lot of, a lot of good defense, good look at shots. Missed some easy ones, to be honest. Boy, if they had to put some of those easy layups in, it would be a little bit bigger of a lead, but love what they're doing. And so we'll get back with you here in about 10 minutes as we'll get you ready for the second half. And we'll see if these Miko Bulldogs can go on the road down here to Amber America, see if they can come away with a W.
And we're back. The Panthers will start out with the ball. And we know for these Bulldogs want to continue with this pressure defense, making everything difficult. There's an open three, and they knock it down. Well, that's not what you want. An open three, you want to get somebody in the face, get a hand, and challenge that. And so Ampo comes back with a three-pointer to start the game, or start this uh, third quarter. So Martinez is just going to wait. They're not going to guard. I think Coach Hill's saying, hey, we have a eight-point lead here. If you don't want to come guard us, then we'll just wait. So finally, there's some movement. Anthony McMurtry back to Martinez. He's going to take the lane jumper. Misses. There's the one that hit the three just a second ago. He misses that one. McMurtry comes up with it. And he'll push it up the court. Got it to Little John. Back over to Anthony, but one of the Panthers knocked it out of bounds. Late, Lawson Braden's one that hit the three for the Panthers. McMurtry will take his, and he knocks it down. A hand in the face, but it didn't matter. Reed McMurtry with, for the three. Long pass. Missed it, came out somehow. Martinez gets the rebound. That was number 24, Kale Jones. Thought he had that one, and that is a charge. Boy, he took a hit on that one. So Martinez will get that foul. That's his second foul. That's number 24, Kel Jones. Boy, he took it in the chin on that one. He is tough. Brummel tried to get it. Harris trying to shut it down. Going to play a little man-to-man -man and switch back and forth. Foul call on McMurtry, reached. I think that's his third. That'll be the second team foul. That is his third. So McMahon going to come in for McMurtry. As he's got three, so he's going to have to have a seat. Got a little, got a little, uh, just can't reach. You got to stay in front. Only if they show you the ball can you try to take that thing. And so he'll have to sit and wait a little bit. And that's going to be a foul on McMahon. Not sure what he really did. So third team foul. So quickly racking up some fouls here. That's Landon McMahon's first one. Lawson Braden hits that one, and they are getting us some easy shots here. Back down to uh, nine. Anthony, the inside, misses. Boy, he hadn't had the finesse he usually has. Those usually roll in for him. Hadn't been happening. There's a jump shot. Kale Jones gets that one. 37-30. McMahon over to Brummel. Kind of passing the ball around here, see if they can find some openings. Look for that back door. Didn't find it there. And the Panthers kind of push their defense out a little bit farther. Good job by McMahon. Forcing the issue, he's going to be fouled. That's on number 11, Avery McComas. 
That is his first foul, just the first team foul. Jones will have a seat. Number one comes in. That's Jared Jones. So Kel Jones goes out. Jared Jones comes in. Anthony gets it, goes into the lane with the right hand, and it just won't fall for him. He's fouled on the shot. That foul was on number three, Lawson Braden. That's his second foul, second team foul. So Anthony will get a couple free throws here. Knocks down the first. Misses the second. Goes and gets the rebound. Shoots it over to McMahon. He drops it down to Little John. Nice pass and a nice shot. Give the assist to McMahon and give the bucket to Little John. Oh, McMahon reaches in, grabs his hand. So that will be a foul on Landon McMahon. That's his second foul. Four team fouls with four minutes left. A few too many fouls here at the beginning of this third quarter. You have to watch that. Little John knocks it off his hands. And so Mr. Jones kicks it out of bounds, and so it'll go back to the Bulldogs. Three minutes, 50 seconds. Picked it up, got it to McMahon. Looking for something down low. Over to Anthony, see if he wants to get to work. Nothing there, so he gives it to Harris. Harris will take the three. Short rebound from the Panthers. There's a wide open three, the missed. Fight for the rebound. Harris popped it over to Anthony. Nicely done by Brady Harris. And Anthony pushes it up. He's going to give it a little bit of a little bit of shake. A little shake and bake. Drops it. Count it. He finally gets one to fall for him. And so it looks like uh, Brown will come for Little John. Taylor's going to come in for... Anthony if he makes the shot. A little shake and bake from Kate Anthony. I like that one. He misses. So foul on Aiden Brummel. 15 foul. I don't like that. Three minutes left here in this third quarter. Full court pressure. Stop the ball. Cross court pass. Oh, and he kicked it. Sixth team foul. And that's Caden Brown's first foul. So the Bulldogs with a 12 point lead, two minutes, 45 seconds. Continuing to play good defense, making everything difficult on the Panthers. Nothing easy down low. Oh, he short hands it, or short arms it, sorry, short arms it. The McMahon pushes it up, gets it over to Brummel. He'll take the three on the run and drops it. Aiden Brummel, fast break confidence with the three. Another assist from McMahon. Long pass there. Taylor almost goes for it. There's the lane, nobody down there to help. That one was too easy. They haven't got very many of those. One minute, 30 seconds.
Got it over to McMahon, over to Harris. He'll take the quick three. Misses it short. Fight for the rebound. Brummel and Taylor trying to get it. Knock it out of bounds. Brown's going to have a seat. Harris is going to have a seat. First look for Riley Beck tonight. Anthony comes in as well. So we got McMahon, Brummel, Taylor, Beck, and Anthony. Long pass. Can't handle it. Out of bounds on the Panthers. to McMahon, back to Anthony. And he's going to find some lane there. He makes a nice little spin move. And in! The finesse, the touch from Mr. Anthony. Ooh, a little sweetness on that one. 53 seconds. They stin the lead again, and there's Taylor trying to come up with an interception there. Good defense there by McMahon. They shut that one down. McMahon comes in, knocks it away, but he's going to get the foul. That's the seventh team foul. That's going to be free throws on any foul from here on out on the Bulldogs. And if you want to get a team back into a game, you just let them have that a few times, and they can start hitting some free throws. This is Johnny Kidd. Misses the first one. So that's McMahon's third foul. And he misses them both, so it turns out to be a good foul. Taylor rebounds, gets it to Anthony, and Anthony comes up the court. Anthony goes to the lane, or McMahon did, kicked it out to Anthony. Back to McMahon, there's a three, and he drops it! Landing McMahon with the Bulldog money ball. 50 to 32, 10 seconds. Five. Oh, and Taylor reached in for no reason there. With two seconds on the clock, that'll be a one and one. That's number four on Ashton Taylor. I didn't realize that. Is that correct? I don't think that's four, but that's what's on the board, so I guess it could be. I thought he just had maybe one or two. Rebound, missed it. Anthony will throw it up. And so that'll be the end of the third quarter. We will head to the fourth with a big lead for the Bulldogs. They took it at the end of the quarter. They finished that quarter excellently. Good play by some guys who haven't played much here at the start of the year. But they are coming in and they are helping, giving a lot of good points, good defense. A lot of people have played for the Bulldogs and they find themselves with eight minutes left here in this game with an 18 point lead. They do have 18 fouls. The Panthers only have three team fouls. And so that's where we find ourselves. So I think here, I think you just keep it up. Don't stop. Don't change what you're doing. Don't. If they don't want to guard you, then absolutely you just wait on them out there. But you keep doing what you're doing. Be aggressive on defense. Be aggressive on offense. You run this thing out of the building, I think, is how you want to play this. And then maybe if you're way ahead, then you maybe rethink that. But I think for now, you just get after it. And So we'll see what the Bulldogs can come up with here in this fourth quarter. So here we go. Bulldogs will start out with it. It's going to be McMurtry, Anthony, Brummel, Little John, and Harris in for the Bulldogs. So 
Still working on these backdoor cuts, seeing if they can get some opportunities, some easy baskets maybe. Nothing happening. Harris is helping helping him out. They'll reset a little bit here. Anthony looking for a driving lane. Nothing there. Out to McMurtry. He looks for something as well. He gets himself in the lane, shoots it a little strong. The Panthers will come up the court. McMurtry gets in the lane, takes it. He's going to go up with the left hand and nicely puts it in. Nice job by Reed McMurtry. Stole the pass, gets the bucket. Aiden Brummel gets his hands on it. Little John throws it forward to McMurtry, and he gets another one. Good poke by Brummel. Little John going to the ground, pushes it up to McMurtry, and he pays it off, and the Panthers have to talk about it again as the Bulldogs go up 54-32, up by 22 points. So a 30-second timeout here. And the Bulldog fans are liking this. The girls didn't have as much fun, but the boys are having some fun tonight. Like I said, when we started, the Bulldogs two and four. These Panthers are four and five this year, and so the Bulldogs, I like what they're doing here. I like the change in what Coach Hill did from that tournament that just didn't go very well. Nothing seemed to shake out right. And so I like the reset here by Coach Hill coming in and saying, we're going to play our brand of basketball. We're going to play what we know to play, what we're best at, and that's aggressiveness. And look, it pays off again. Harris gets his hand on it. Brummel comes up with it. Another turnover, another steal. Wow. This defense has been great tonight. They spread it out. And they call a charge there. Man, I kind of felt like he was uh, underneath him and not a charge. It's one thing to get it when they're coming against you. It's another thing as you're falling and they're coming down to the ground. I was pretty close, but they give it to him. So that was number two on Anthony. That's his second foul. Almost came up with the steal and it fell out. And little John got his hand on it. Panthers stay with it. Wide open three there, he's gonna take it. He's gonna miss it. Oh. The Panthers save it and got lucky as it fell right to Mr. Lawson. And he's able to get two easy points there. Sometimes the ball bounces your way. A rat finds cheese every now and then, right? Or peanut butter, I don't know. Got some time here. I think we got a little bit of blood on the floor. So he's going to go take care of that. Bulldogs will start over again. Got it into Anthony. He's going to pull it out. Five minutes, 45 seconds in this game. Like I said, I think keep being aggressive. They've been running this same offense, trying to find a backdoor cut. It has allowed the lane to be open to drive. And they've taken advantage of that quite a few times as well. They spread out these Panthers all over the court. Bad pass there. Oh, but they pass it back to the Bulldogs. Shoots it over to Brummel. Brummel will shoot again. He was short on that one. Brady Harris almost stole that one. And so Little John comes up with it. McMurtry pulls it back. That was a smart idea by number five. And so there's the lane for him. He blows past him, and he misses it. Well, that's not usual. Anthony's probably four or five of those tonight that he is usually money. Missed shot there. McBurtry gets the rebound. We go back up the court here. 20-point lead with four minutes and 40 seconds left in this game. 
Bulldogs have dominated from the start, really. They just have continued to increase this lead little by little. The Panthers just have not had an answer for this offense. McMurtry might have got away with the push there. And then he got his rebound and got fouled from behind. And so he'll get some free throws. That foul was on Lawson. That is his third foul, fourth team foul. Bulldogs have nine team fouls. McMurtry knocks that one down with some confidence. He hadn't got to play a bunch. He had some foul trouble, but he's making it playing this fourth quarter. He's trying to get all it's worth as he's got about, oh, he's got six points now here just in the fourth quarter. 56-34. Back up to a 22-point lead. Panthers are trying to hurry it up. He goes inside. He misses it short. A good challenge there by Harris and Anthony. They don't pick him up. He's going to throw it up and throw it in. There it is. There's the finesse. Everything else has been a little strong, but that one, he took a little off, and it falls in. The Panthers come back with a quick score. 58-36, three minutes, 45 seconds. Three minutes, 30 seconds. So Panthers come up with it. Knocked out of bounds. Little John, not today. So we got some guys coming in. Riley Beck, Landon McMahon, Caden Brown. I believe that's Jose Martinez and Sebastian Valdez. I think I got that right. I could be wrong, Mr. Martinez. I don't have the book in front of me. Off of memory there, I could be wrong. There's Beck, back to Brown. Brown takes it in. He's blocked on the shot. Missed it. Oh, Brown fights for it. The Panthers come up with it. So Brown comes up with that. McMahon up top. He's going to drive it, puts it up a little strong, but there's the rebound. And he's going to get a couple of free throws opportunities as the foul happened. And I was correct, Jose Martinez. So they're going to sub in and out. We got two minutes, nine seconds. So here's another chance at a free throw here. And he gets that one. Pretty dominating game here. We've got all the subs in. This is great if you're a Bulldog fan. As the white flag has kind of been waved by the uh, Panthers as they put in all their subs as well. Left him wide open, missed it. Strong again. Martinez rebound. He's going to get it over to Brown. Missed that one short. Beck tries to get a block from behind, but he fouls him. 
He's able to make it. So one minute, 21 seconds left. Hayden Mock comes in and also Clayton Mounts. So we're trying to get everybody in on this game. Missed it. Rebound by Mock. Gets it over to Martinez. To Valdez. Mounts is open with the back cut. And he gets two. Clayton Mounts comes in. Atta boy, Mr. Mounts comes in and gets the bucket as soon as he comes off the bench. Mock tried to take the charge, but it's too late to get a charge call in this game. 57 seconds, stays with the Panthers. Rebound Martinez. Strong rebound. It's going to get fouled from behind with 50 seconds. It'll just be the sixth team foul on the Panthers, so take it out of bounds. And we're 50 seconds away. Well, this has got to feel good for these Miko Bulldogs. Like I said, they were on a four-game losing streak. That just hadn't happened very often here in the Coach Hill era. And so they were able to right the ship tonight. He came out and played what we're used to seeing out of these Bulldogs, strong defense, big-time pressure defense, in-your-face defense, and it turned into a lot of points off of turnovers. So Beck will take it from the logo, and he misses it just by a little bit, 20 seconds. And so it's got to feel good if you're a Bulldog fan tonight to get this W and hopefully get something going here, maybe get a winning streak going the other way. It's nice going into the break, getting a win. Getting a W in that win column, that's what you wanted. And so the Bulldogs will finish this game 61 to 40 over the Ampo Panthers. And so came into their house and put it on them. And so good job by Coach Hill, good job by the Bulldogs. A lot of guys played tonight, a lot of guys did excellent. So thanks for joining us once again on MikoBulldogs.tv, and we will see you the next game when we come back from Christmas break. So you all have a wonderful Christmas, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Uh, if you haven't found a church yet, there's going to be a good church somewhere there in Miko. We'd love to have you at First Baptist, but I know Hazeldale's going to have a service, the Assembly, the Methodist, uh, out at Canaan. And so there's all sorts of good churches to, to go to on Christmas. Hope you make it to a service on Christmas Day. And y'all have a Merry Christmas.